Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is Hunter Starcraft and I'm very excited to present to you guys a new segment. I'm going to be playing through the Starcraft 1 campaign that has been beautifully ported to Starcraft 2. It is just the developer of this particular custom has done an absolutely remarkable job porting it over. So we're going to do a little throwback back to 1998 and uh, play through this. I certainly hope you guys enjoy. So, the Terran campaign. Um, known as Rebel Yell. I guess we got a little introduction here I'll read to you guys. In the decades since the end of the Guild Wars, the oppressive Terran Confederacy has stood unchallenged in its supremacy over colonized space. All of that changed four days ago when a large alien fleet emerged from warp space and laid waste to the unsuspecting Confederate colony of Chausara. The Confederacy Fearing that the alien fleet's next target will be the colony of Marsara, has sent you to intervene. Acting as magistrate, you are to safeguard the colonists and keep their state of panic from escalating any further. Now, just like in StarCraft 1, of course, you've got the tutorial. Welcome to Marsara, magistrate. The equipment demonstration but requested is prepared. Just like I did back in 1998. We're going to have to skip. To begin the demonstration. We're going to have to skip the tutorial. I'm sorry, I can't bring myself to do it. We're going to jump straight into mission number 1, Wasteland. Let's hit it. Adjutant online. Good evening, magistrate. I'll fill you in on what's been happening. Confederate traffic has increased substantially within the system due to the recent Protoss destruction of the Chao Sara colony. The Confederates have tightened security on all outlying systems, and it's likely that this colony will be locked down as well. An encrypted Confederate transmission came for you while you were at dinner. Replaying transmission. Greetings, Magistrate. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Confederate Security Forces Alpha Squadron. The Confederacy has quarantined this entire planet. And we'll proceed with a lockdown within 48 hours. You're to relocate your core colonists to the outlying wastelands. Now, I know there won't be any problems with these new arrangements. Transmission ended. I have contacted the local marshal, James Rayner. Rayner has agreed to meet your personnel en route and escort them to the new wasteland site. Alrighty. Colonial Militia Perimeter Outpost, Marsara Wasteland. Jumping right into Mission 1 here. Can't believe we're being sent to the Wasteland. These Confederates think they can push anybody around. Howdy, boys. I'm Jim Rayner, Marshal of these parts. This better be good. Classic. Anytime I absolutely love it. I'm actually so excited to be playing through this with you guys. Just a few Zerg forces. Uh oh, I don't want to lose that SCV. That's good, okay. He's in the red. That's fine. Get those guys mining. Pretty simple instructions for this particular mission. Just got to avoid some uh, mild Zerg flame harass. Gonna want to throw down barracks right away. All I have to do really is uh, train 10 Marines. And I already have five, so I mean, that's good news. I could do some exploring. I know there are some Zerg forces uh, scattered about. Maybe I will do that actually. Maybe Rainer and two Marines while I wait for this barracks to go up. Let's do some exploring. This is actually such a beautiful port. I mentioned it before. Just the attention to detail um, that the developer of this custom game. I mean, even to the point like you could have seen the Hydralis there spitting acid. You know, just like in Brood War and of course StarCraft 1 where the Hydra would spit acid and now it's changed he's you know he spits spines the Hydra's like a, a higher tier unit now but you know this particular port really does stay true to the classics and yeah I'm excited to be playing through it with you guys so this barracks is almost done I'm just gonna queue up a bunch of Marines oh it's not almost done it looks like that Zergling actually sniped the uh, the SCV building that I was wondering what was taking so long there okay there we go I'm just going to queue up a whole bunch of Marines. Oh. Adjutant has some uh, advice for me. So i got five Marines already, just a couple more. I'm going to need. 
Uh oh. Can I bite off more than I can chew here? There's some fancy vulture micro. Oh, I don't even want to lose him. Okay, all right. We're good. We're good. I'm trying to clear out as many Zerg forces as I can. Train up some Marines. Am I actually... Yeah, I am going to... No, I, I don't need another Supply Depot. I still have room for five more Marines, and I only need four more. So this mission is actually coming to an end. Obviously, the first mission is going to be pretty easy. But uh, regardless of that, I, I'm excited to move on to mission two and three. Uh, some of my favorite missions in the in the campaign coming up shortly. And I'm really excited to be playing through it with you guys. Definitely don't want to lose Jimmy here. Although he, he did start with a ton of hit points. 300 hit points and even his bike has crazy armor. Three armor and uh, wow, really fast move speed. That moves faster than a phoenix. <laughs> yeah, pretty classic. Okay, one more marine. And that should be it for this mission. God, I remember playing through this mission. I must have been like in the fourth grade or something. You know, back in the day. This is a real <laughs> throwback for me. And I love the nostalgia. I really do. All right, I think that's it for mission one as some Zerglings come in trying to attack me. All right, let's jump right into mission two.